The most popular aircraft in the world has just been remodeled in Pilot Training Flight Simulator. Just quickly before I start the video, I'd like to kindly ask if you could subscribe as it is free and it really supports the channel. You can always unsubscribe later. The majority of the Cessna family has just been remodeled including the Cessna 172, Cessna 182 and the Cessna Caravan. Starting off with the Cessna 172 liveries, we have 5 liveries including a Civil Air Patrol livery, a Coast Guard livery, a Gold and Black livery, a Student livery and a White livery. The Cessna 172 seaplane has 5 liveries including Blue, Coast Guard, Orange, Stripes and White. The Cessna 182 has 4 liveries including Black and Green, Blue, Red and White. The Cessna 182 seaplane has 4 liveries including Flame, Red and Gold, Turquoise and White. The Cessna Caravan has 7 liveries including Azol, Blue, Coast Guard, Purple, Skydive, Tame Buff Commuter and White. The Cessna Caravan Cargo has 3 liveries including FedEx, DHL and a plain white one. Moving on to the Cessna Caravan Seaplane, you have 4 liveries, Grey, Stripes, White and Yellow and Black. One cool thing about the Skydive livery is that the small back door opens. The seaplanes will remain a Game Pass with it costing 95 Robux which I think is a good price as they are unique. I have not seen many of them around but hopefully this update will change that. One other difference I noticed is that unlike the smaller Cessnas, the Caravan has a glass cockpit instead of the older dials. Tell me what you think of this choice in the comments down below. There are actually differences between the Cessna 172 and Cessna 182 which are small but, but once you learn them you will not forget them. The Cessna 172 has two blades on the engine whereas the 182 has three. The interior colours are different between the 172 and 182. The back glass in the 172 and 182 are different with the 172 being split in two whilst the 182 is one piece. And finally, the cockpits are different with the 182 not having the standby compass and the ADF radio but instead having a slightly different dial layout with an extra lever here which is the propeller control lever. Very similar but slightly different planes. As per usual, the update has come out on Saturday. Many people don't believe me but the updates usually come on Saturday which is why I'm putting the emphasis on it. Anyways, I would now like to thank you very much for watching, see you soon.